Hi guys! Today I want to talk a little bit about print surfaces. There are many different brands and types on the market you can choose from. And you can even make your own with household items. But in the end, are you using the ideal surface for your printer? There are many things that can affect your print quality, and your print surface is one of them. A bad surface can make you get first layer issues or deformities, irregular bottom side layers, incomplete prints due to insufficient adhesion or due to supports that fall off during the print. There are some homemade techniques like using masking tape, glass with glue stick or hairspray. I've used masking tape in the past and for a long time, and it worked fairly well, but removing the prints in the end and replacing the tape was often a hard thing to do. The other solutions like glue stick or hairspray, they just leave the print sticky and leave residue on the bed. You also have sheet surfaces that are cheap and which the filament sticks very well, but you will end up using a scraper to remove the prints or you will need to apply some muscle to force the print out. These are also not the best choice as, depending on your printer, the force you apply will stress the bed and rails or wheels and can even affect the bed leveling. This will make you adjust more often the leveling on manual printers and will increase the effort on your Z movements in auto level models. For me, the best print surfaces are the ones that the filament sticks easily on the surface and the prints, when finished, can be removed without applying any force. Having said that, the list got much smaller. Some time ago I bought a few of these print surfaces, tested them for a while and today I will share those results. And the print surfaces I tested are the Print Bite Plus, the Filiprint, the Memorabot, and the Flex Plate Kit from Triangle Lab. The Print Bite Plus is a UK made print surface. It's available in different colors, graphics, and textures. It sticks pretty good when hot, and to remove the print, you just need to let it cool down, and the prints will detach by themselves. You can actually hear the filament popping out while cooling down. The surface is less than 1 mm thick and needs to be glued on to the heat bed or to a glass if you want it to be removable. From the tests I made, the surface is very good. It sticks very well and it releases without any issue. It can work with many filament types. I haven't tested with nylon, but the manufacturer states that it can work with that filament. The downside is that it's not easy to dial in, but when compared with the other tested surfaces, is not the most difficult one. I can confirm that the first layer with PLA can be done at speeds of 40 mm a second as the data sheet mentions. The biggest issue that I've noticed is a rapid degradation of the adhesion. The first few times it recovered after cleaning it with acetone, but after many more prints it got harder to recover. I got to a point where I can't get it to stick anymore. Filiprint The filiprint is a German-made print surface. It also sticks very good when hot and the prints release themselves when cold. This one also needs to be glued on to the heat bed or on an extra glass. From the test I made, it was the easiest to dial in and allows higher initial print speeds. And for PLA, it allows more user mistakes when compared with the others. I tested several first layer heights and it ran without any issues. Even very small supports can be made without the use of platforms as they stick amazingly well. The only issue I found was that if the first layer is too small, you may not be able to get the print to pop off after it cools down and even after many hours. However, you still can get the print out without forcing it. I simply used cold air from a can of compressed air and the print immediately came out. 
For the guys that like to print with nylon, this one does not work with that type of filament. Filofarm also has the option of a magnetic base called switch. This plate is used instead of the traditional glass. The magnetic base makes everything much easier. When the print is finished, you don't need to wait for it to cool down. Just take it out, bend the plate to remove the print and you are ready to print again. This magnetic plate can handle temperatures of 150 degrees C without any issue. Memorabot The Memorabot is a Chinese print surface. The price is much cheaper compared with the previous ones. This one does not require a glass because it's a 3 mm thick and stiff plate and for the tornado it covers the entire heat bed making it easy to install. The Memorabot was the hardest to dial in from all the tested surfaces. It does not allow any user mistakes and some materials like flex filament don't stick as hard. It also requires maintenance more often. In some cases, I had to clean it with IPA alcohol before each print. The good thing is that it maintained the adhesion the entire time I used it. Flex Plate System The Flex Plate System is a product from Triangle Lab. This surface is a bit different from the previous ones, but since the filament sticks very good and at the end you easily take the model out, I included this one in my comparison. It is an easy to dial in surface, does not require much maintenance and it can handle some abuse unlike all the others. The entire kit that includes the magnetic plate, the steel sheet and the surface costs under $50 and are available in many sizes and shapes. I was not able to test flex filament on it because all the tests were done in my DeForce D300. The only downside is that it cannot handle temperatures higher than 70 degrees C, which limits the list of filaments it can use. And unlike all the others, you don't get a glass finish look on the bottom of the prints. Now, let's do a quick check of all the print surfaces and their pros and cons. So for the print wide plus and on the good side the filaments stick very well, it's compatible with many filament types and we can print first layers at a decent print speed and on the bad side it's not that durable as it eventually loses adhesion capability. For the fill print on the good side, the filaments stick amazingly well, it's easy to dial in, it's very durable and not very maintenance demanding, you can get the switch magnetic base option, and very good first layer speeds. On the bad side, we have the price, a 310 by 310 millimeters sheet will cost $118 and the memory bot and on the good side we have the price the big 370 by 310 mm size costs around $38 you don't need to glue it anywhere so you can skip the use of a glass it's super fast and easy to install and you can use both sides of the plate on the bad side, the filaments don't stick as hard as they should. Some tricks need to be done to increase or maintain the adhesion. It's difficult to dial in, you have to use a very low speed for your first layer and it needs to be cleaned very often. And finally, the flex plate from Triangle Lab. On the good side we have the price. A 304 by 304 mm plate costs a little bit over $40. It's super easy to dial in, you don't need to wait for it to cool down to remove the print, it can handle a lot of abuse, and on the bad side, you can only heat it up up to 70 degrees C. 
and you don't get that glass finish on the bottom side of the prints. So for me, and without a doubt, from the surfaces tested, the best one and top of the class is the Philoprint from Philofarm. And if you are not on a budget, the Philoprint with the switch system is the perfect solution for any 3D printer. That's it you guys. Don't forget to keep following me on YouTube for more 3D printing stuff. Also, you can follow me on Facebook. And if you want to support my work, you can do it with Patreon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.